And the blue corner weighed in at 380 pounds. All the way from Ballymigan, Cockhill, the biggest board hanger in the planet. That's here for Ivan Kelly! And in the red corner from South Boston, Massachusetts, we got Tommy the Terror. Let's hear for Tommy McCarthy! <laughs> and this row, we have six rounds on this fight here, just to let you know. Anyway, this is sponsored by Keith Construction. Thank you. First round, Uncle Eamon and Tommy McCarthy. And again, they start off fists of fury. Little slip there by Tommy McCarthy. Brief stint on the canvas, but he's back up. Gloves brushed off, ready to get back at it. I'm quite sure you remember uh, Tommy McCarthy's cornerman, uh, Richie Atato over there. Richie had a very successful amateur career. Yeah, absolutely. One of the many Atato brothers that, that fought. I had Tommy, his younger brother, fight on several of my shows. I, I think that that entire family grew up boxing. Uh, I believe there's eight boys in that family, and all of them boxed. Tommy probably the uh, the most accomplished of them. He fought um, Olympian Jeff on. Lacey on ESPN when Lacey tonight. came out of the Olympics. Nice body shot by McCarthy. Good job. And that ends round one. This fight is sponsored by Keith Construction. Good solid round. Both men look a little bit winded, maybe. This is our senior division. Two men is the name out, but thank you very much for all the corner guys. And also, like to thank the referees for all their hard work. Good job, man. It's also, you know, it's 11:20 now, and it's been a long night. These guys have been here since five o'clock this evening, waiting to go on. Also, we'd like to thank the Queen. Yeah, yeah, long, long night. First fight was at seven o'clock promptly. So we've been four and a half hours here tonight. That's a lot of boxing, Tim. For, for the $30 donation, people certainly got their money's worth of entertainment this evening. Oh, absolutely. And you know, the great thing it was is uh, we not only had male fighters, we had some outstanding female bouts tonight, showing that, you know, the sport has definitely crossed the boundary into the female area. And uh, there's some definite talent out there. Oh, without a doubt, some of the most exciting fights tonight were the, were the women's bouts. Very, very talented ladies, and they work just as hard, if not harder, than the gentlemen in there. Absolutely. I take my hat off to them. They, uh, they went in there with uh, just as, and worked just as hard as the men in the gym. And uh, they, uh, they showed some great talent today in the, uh, in the ring. Eamon Kelly and Tommy McCarthy kind of settling in a little bit here, maybe looking for that one shot now, that initial burst of energy kind of spent a bit. Yeah, and they're kind of stalking each other, waiting for the other one to make the move first. Tommy seems to be favoring uh, Eamon's body. Well, I got a little support, lads. Come on, let's hear him. It looks like Tommy, Tommy's going to get that lead shoulder a little bit... Uh, in front of Eamon because uh, he's, he's catching a lot of punches, unfortunately, right now. Eamon's got a very, very nice jab. Experienced amateur back in Ireland, Eamon Kelly from Donegal. His nephew, Michael Roddy, in his corner. Roddy, an extremely talented amateur himself. He boxed a little bit earlier tonight, and he was the head coach for the entire team here out of TNT for this year's event, as well as last year's. Yeah, Mike was a great up, uh, great asset, and uh, I'm pleased to announce that Mike's going to extend his stay down at TNT and help with some uh, some some of my amateurs and, uh, try to build a, a little bit more of a stable. 
Yeah, Michael would be a great addition. He's a very talented trainer, has a terrific guy for it, and he really loves the sport. And you know what, that's, that's one of the most important things. People ask me sometimes, what makes a good amateur coach? An amateur coach is a guy who really likes coaching fighters and wants to do it. You can learn, you can adapt, you can you know, pick up things from experienced older trainers, but you have to put the time in and have the passion for the sport. And that's something that young Michael Roddy certainly has. Oh, 100%, you know, I mean, being a coach, you know, when you're trying to teach technique to some of these beginners, it's kind of difficult because they don't, firsthand, don't get the concept of throwing the, the technically correct, whether it be a hook or a straight rider, or moving without crossing their legs. And Mike had just, mountains of patience with these people and I'll tell you the, the, the training that he provided down at the gym with, with the whole staff I mean we had some excellent bouts there today and everyone was in great condition so we didn't have any fights stopped everyone went to distance and everyone threw a ton of punches tonight and this one looks like it's going to end with fireworks Eamon Kelly with that Nice fast jab. Tommy loading up to the body. Again. Eamon just sticking that jab. Every once in a while he drops a nice stiff six inch right hand right on McCarthy's chin. You know, once again, Tim, the most effective punch in boxing is a really good jab. If you have a good jab, your life is a lot easier. Absolutely. I mean, if you can work a nice stiff jab, you can work all your combinations off of that. That can make a very long night for your opponent. Good exchange right there. Nice combination by Eamon Kelly. Backed right off after he landed it. Again, good sportsmanship by everybody tonight, Tim. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're not in, none of the fighters are here to, uh, to score that knockout. They're here to uh, show off their boxing skills, both offensively and defensively. And uh, the sportsmanship's been outstanding tonight. And there it is. And there it is, Tim. Thank you very much for everything you've done for Battle of the Bay for this. And of course, thank you for joining me for the last few nights of the evening. My pleasure. Thanks again for everything you do, Mark.